<laughs> Hacked it snout off with a six iron and it wasn't even your horse. Are we live, man? Are the phones going? Oh, shut up. Wow. I honestly didn't see you push one of them. That's being backtrack. That is Sorry. backtrack, man. It's episode number 32 of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And we are here at the Brownery. Yeah, well, so I don't know if I'm up for that one. All right. Sorry. Mon, you decide. Brownery or Brown Town? It can't be about me. We're it needs talking to be about, about all of us. We're talking about naming the house for everyone who doesn't know what the fuck we're on about. We've moved into this beautiful new house and everyone commented and, and had suggestions. Why don't we read some of the fucking comments, huh? How Have about that? Have you got some suggestions? Because I've got some. Have you got some more? I've got some name suggestions if you want. Yeah, go on. I, I, like... It- uh, it, yeah. well, it makes uh, sense yeah, because the brownery, world. brown to town, town. You are here as the caretaker. Yeah, you are the brownery. Well, you're the brown, and that's therefore the only the you, you would only stay at the brownery. You wouldn't stay anywhere else. Is that like why haven't you painted the walls brown? Well, they sort of are. Over time, he leaks into them. I would ha- it'd have yeah. to be called Brown Town. Stain, but it's not a just, town. It's a, it's a, it's just a, it's a re. It's not a town. This what? is a brownery, and here is where browns are made. Well, I reckon Brownery. Yeah, it's decided. Right, it's back to to, we've guys. gone back to the Brownery. All right, look, the name of the new house is Brownery. Let us know in the comments what you fucking think of it. It's our fucking week off right now, isn't it? Mo, Michael went fucking camping. Oh, fucking, it was sick, man. Mine out under the stars. Yeah, it's fucking sick, man. I fell off a boulder. God. Yeah, Michael's covered in scratches. Fucked my wrist up. It's you fell ten meters off off of a boulder. No, it was like two. But man, if you land wrong on a rock with like jagged things, remember when Matt slapped on his back when we were in <laughs> Bali? Mm. Yeah. Oh, he you bent made- around a huge boulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> brown yeah. bounded boulder, and I knew it was it was a bad fall because um because Mo- not even Mo- Michael didn't even laugh. I was trying to follow. Well, the James only reason I came, down. I was Pretty a bit cons- I was concerned for you a bit. But like, I was like, oh man, like you fucked the day up. Yeah, like. the whole day was ruined. We were so deep in the jungle yeah, mm. that it would have had to take a helicopter to get me out. You're pretty flexible for a 45 year old. <laughs> you <laughs> slipped around the outside of it. I yeah. thought you would have I'm, put some discs out. I'm 35 and I would have been like 31 at the time. <laughs> Dude. Nah, we were 33. Uh, yeah, which means you would have been like, yeah, 42, 43. How old are you? I'm 32. <laughs> anyway, it's a fucking week off. Um, we're not filming this week, but we're still, you know, doing bits and pieces here and there. And this is the only thing we're filming this week. So fucking, um, yeah, let's get fucking straight into it. Other than, other than that, there's nothing much to report, boys. We got fucking, we're back next week. Oh, we got two weddings this weekend. Well, I got, sorry, I have two weddings and Michael and I have a wedding that we have to go to on Sunday where we're emceeing. This will be our first time emceeing a wedding. And yeah, it's going to be, I don't know, I've never emceed anything before, but it should be pretty interesting. Very easy. Yeah, what You'll the have hell? the best time. What is it? What do we do? You get up and go, you introduce everyone, you tell everyone where to go, what to do and all that sort of stuff, but you just, you can say whatever you want. Just have fun with it. We'll say whatever we that. want. All right. Yeah. We'll see I'm how sure that goes down. We can't okay. say. How about you guys start talking about the live show that you want to do? Because otherwise... Yeah, we're Nothing. still doing it. Matt's starting to freak out. He's like, oh, "There's so much to organize." He's and Matt said, oh, "Oh, why don't we? Why don't we delete us saying that and and just lie to everyone and just say that we never oh, said I it?" I didn't keep say saying that. Like, oh, stop, fuck the fans! Don't fucking <laughs> give a shit about them. Seriously, I don't. I don't think we have enough time to organize it. And then he went back oh. to bed for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so no, the live show is coming. And we are going you to make it work. Talking. We're trying to work out numbers. We're thinking of, we're thinking of a venue that can hold a hundred people. And how cool would it be to get a hundred people to do the slow clap that we do? That would be interesting. That would be It'd interesting. Be constant, just bang, bang, bang. If bang. we do that for like ten minutes, we could waste some time. One hundred and ten percent, we could. Anyway, let's just get into the podcast, guys. We've got Bachelor Brown. we got Lying to Lockie's undergoing some changes, but it's still here. We've got the Black Book. We've got everything. We've got a prank call at the end. So yeah. fucking, fucking. But also, before we get into it, we are running a comment competition. Okay, at the on the season finale, we'll be picking one comment at random from this entire season. 
All right, one comment on all of the podcasts. So the more times you comment, the more entries you have and the higher your chance of winning. It's, it's common sense. It's comment. Do sense. you want money? Then comment. It's as simple as that, Matt Brown. And there's one for just random pickings of just a random comment. And then there's also one for each week we pick the, the comment of comment the week. Comment of the week, So exactly. then you have a one in 40 chance with that. Yeah, so comment of the week is a separate competition, which we'll be getting into a little later into the fucking podcast. But you already know about that, most of you. Anyway, fuck off. Sorry. Should we quickly move on to um, the uh, sponsors? What, oh, you've got like a holder thing for the baby now, Matt. Yeah. When did you get that? Hey, Connor, get, get a close-up of that there. That's, did you buy that specifically for that baby? Oh, I thought we could uh, put it to use. Maybe make a video with it. Yeah, that's really creepy that you've gone out and bought that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, because I don't even have a baby. Dude, that, well, that could be a funny social experiment, taking that baby out Just into like, public shut up, shut up, and pretending shut up. like it's real. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyway. We could all take a baby each. Yeah, 100%. And go to Kmart. <laughs> We've also got uh, my beautiful fiance Mon, looking um, behind the camera. She's here with Bosley. And we're having some friends come over today have a little fire. It's yeah. James's birthday. It's James's sort of birthday party. a couple of days ago, so fucking having a bit of a fire for him. Going too. Anyway, sponsors. Boss. Do you want to do Nord again, Michael? Well, I just had a thought. Why don't we fucking get Matt Matt to have a crack? Yeah, that's a great idea, Aww. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, but the- they don't want me saying it. They want uh, yeah, you saying Nord, it. Nord you even said, podcast. Nord said, I want Matt do that. <laughs> they emailed oh. me that this morning they said that. I can show you the email I, if you Oh, it's on the wrong phone. Oh, well, I guess I can't do no, it. No, they said that. All right. Our first sponsor is one of the most innovative companies. Innovative. Innovative. Okay. Com- companies that has ever been produced. If you are struggling in life and you are a hideous, monster-looking fuck cunt who can't fucking talk to girls to save himself because you fucking scare kids with the way you look, ungroomed, unkept hair shit coming out everywhere, have a fucking bath, maybe, cunt, and go to manscaped.com, you pigs, you fucking utter scum cunt. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off of some of the finest products that will save your life. This is not a lie. This is not an exaggeration. Manscaped will save your life with their products. They've got helplines. They've got helplines set up where you can go and get your head shaved with all of their products. Their fucking ball shaver won't clip your balls much, Matt, so keep your mints nice and hot. (laughs) <laughs> They've got ball wipes so you can get sucked off on trains. Uh, yeah, shampoo so you can wash Shampoo your hair. so you can wash the cum out of your sister's hair. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's all sorts of shit at mancuntscapecunt.com cunt. Manscaped.com. Fully actual 20 for 20% off. You fucking ugly pig. Also for women. Also for women. Mainly for women, actually, I reckon. I'm going to say that. All right. Let's, let's go out on a limb here. They haven't told us to say it. Mainly for women. Mainly for women. Manscaped. Mainly for women. Mainly for women. All right. Now, Matt, he's very excited about this. He's, my, Matt is now going to take us through our next sponsor which is NordVPN, which is a VPN company, isn't it, Matt Brown? Isn't that right? We're going to lose this sponsor. Oh, the, oh, come on now. I don't, I don't want them to hear you say that. Yeah, I so want you to have confidence. You've been studying this. You've been... You've been. W- what is it about NordVPN that you like so much, Brown Town? The V. P. N. It's going to be such a normal reading. Shane Gain Goonglay, brother. Read that email out loud, Matt. Read it out loud. Uh, NordVPN, what is it, Matt? For those who don't know what a fucking VPN is, grab your exclusive NordVPN <laughs> deal by going to nordvpn.com slash fully actual to get up a huge discount off your NordVPN plan. Plus, four how months- much discount? I haven't, is this not part of the thing? Okay, Let me read it. Right. You'll also get four months for free. <gasps> 
Four months free VPN. Wow, that's a year. That's that's basically a year. It is. Oh, wow, it is. Michael just worked it out. It's completely risk free. Are there any risks? None at all. Wow, so it's risk free. It's risk free, free risks. Wow. With Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. 30 days. That's, that's a year. That's four months. So it's that's completely risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk. So if you don't even know what it is, you can get it. That's right. And, and then get back out of it. That's exactly. right. They send you tea flavored, uh, Garen flavored tea. Exactly. And so. you get a gift. Remember you sign up, you get a gift and it's only like, what is it? $3.50 or some shit. Yeah, it's free. A month, which is a year, roughly. <laughs> So anyway, nordvpn.com slash fully actual and you get a fucking ripping VPN with heaps of perks and shit and it's cheap as fucking ball wires from Manscaped. You Netflix anywhere it's, in the, from, you know, from any Yeah, country. that's exactly right, Matt. It's security and entertainment. It's ecstatic and electric. So you now you've got a bouncer at home while you browse the internet. For porn. Matt. Sorry. All right, and the final sponsor is, of course, the University of Markle, where we post weekly, like, half-hour, massive, awesome fuck-you episodes. And it's it's what funds our lives, okay? You can be a member. It supports everything that we do. We, you get to go part of the Facebook group and chat to us all the time. You get to know us. You get fucking all sorts of cool shit, cunt. Plus, the premium members, they get extra an extra update video every week from Michael and I. And... You get entered into the giveaways. But most importantly, the videos are fucking amazing, Matt. There's over 220 now, right? And there's a 21-day free trial so you can see if you like the videos. And if you don't, you can fuck off and you haven't paid a cent. What's an mm. update video? What do you guys do? Is we just talk about... Yeah, oh, you in ours. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's pretty much we just go in depth about like our personal lives. I've never seen that. Yeah, like we talk about exactly what we do. Yeah. No, Matt. That's enough handshaking for now. <laughs> and those are our sponsors, everybody. I said, Klumpfer and Taylor. Let's keep this ball rolling, boys. Boom! Break. And we're back. All right, guys. Time for On This Day, which is a segment where Matt, Matt Brown, right here, he goes and he researches something that happened on this day in the history. Something pivotal, monumental, crazy. Here we go, Matt Brown. What have you got for us today? It's uh, inspirational. Really? And educational all in one. Oh, wow. <clears throat> all right. What's that mean? I have no idea. I just read it on a billboard. On this day in 1998, Chuck Norris changed the skin color of his newborn baby by covering it in hickeys. He sucked every square centimeter of that baby until it was entirely purple. Then he showed that purple baby to his wife and accused her of cheating on him with that purple Barney cunt dinosaur thing. His wife broke down and started crying. And before Chuck could reveal it was a prank, she tossed the baby in the garbage disposal. Chuck revealed that they're just hickeys. Now they're divorced. Oh my God. Okay. So I've just figured you have just created a fucking university video. Really, Matt? We are going to be able to, apart from Michael Jackson's already done this, this is the experiment. This will be on the website. We are going to change our skin cut color, Marty. With We're going to hickey each other. Do we have enough blood in our body to do that? <laughs> I hope so. What, we, could we die from that? There's only one way to find out, Matt. We can get like suction cups so we don't even have to suck yeah, each other. Yeah, I would like to get suction cups. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon we should do that. Yo, the hey. whole, every single part of our body will be bruised. Can you... um? Will that work? Or well, maybe you just hickey each other. Oh, be a Matt, long come time. on now. If we, we get we like tried, 10 people all to hickey I've you I tried the for same a video. Time. We tried last week and it's 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 like- No, you, you just suck at giving hickeys. Oh, it's so weird though, man. It's hard like, to commit. It's reckon, hard I to commit to give your, give your fucking, your mate a hickey. Oh, yeah, that's why we'll get the suction cup. Bozzy, Bozzy, come here. Can't come get here. up. Bozzy. There's no, there's no clear path. Bozzy, come here, darling. The path, yeah. Come here, darling. Come on. There we go. Oh, yes. Up, up. oh, yes, my little snicker. Huh? Oh, my little darling, hey? Oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, little baby on set, hey? Little baby on set. Oh, anyway, mm. let's move right along. And now we have Michael's Bible. And this is a segment where Michael has written all of his wisdom down into a Bible. <laughs> And he will now read it for you. And while he's reading it, you must refer to him as Bezos, not Jesus, Bezos, the God of being. Stop, Wesley. Now, this is more of like a a physical practice one. Oh, this is a first for the Bible. Mm, yeah, so it's not like, it's not reading, okay? Oh, this okay. is exciting as fly layer. So it right. goes like this. You have to copy everyone. All right. So wait, explain what we're doing. So we put our hands together. Put your hands together. Yeah. Have uh, your pinkies. How did you do? Go how up. did you do that? So cross your fingers like this. Then you put your pinkies up together. And yeah. then you go. Here is the church. Here is the church. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Here, Here is, is the, the steeple. steeple. Open the door. Open, open the, the door. Open the door. And there are some and people. Here are the people. I can't do that. Matt. Wow, man. Thank but you. like you can also do it like this. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open the door, and there are no people. Oh wow! So it's kind of like two tricks in one. And did that, you, but I'm the only that? one that can do that last one. Fucking hell! Did you create that? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. So. yeah. You did, yeah. I think I did. So you can use that in any part of life. You could use that skill. You could use it at work. It's just fun to do. It's like meditation. <coughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel really relaxed now. Thanks, dude. Thank you. But that's that chapter there. So thank you. Wow. Exceptional work. A physical chapter out of the Bible. I am very impressed. Sorry. All right, guys. It's time for Marty's diary, right? And I've just found a bunch of scrumpled up um, bits of paper in the bottom of my mum's bin a couple of weeks ago. And so they're not in any particular order. And this is a diary entry from me as a little German boy or some shit. <laughs> Diary entry Number 10 million 479,388. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> that is just what? Fucking. What, okay. is that, what does that even mean? So, it's just the fucking number, the diary entry number 10,479,388. Wow, of course. <sighs> I don't Your even feel like fucking reading that? it now, honestly. It's like. I can't even oh, read oh. the diary entry number before you guys are making fun. <laughs> okay, sorry. Poking fun at me. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Don't you understand? Sorry about that. That's why my neck is so long. I try to get away from the insults. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I stretch. Oh. I okay. stretch. <clears throat> anyway, today I lost my school hat. Mum said to teach me a lesson that instead of buying a new hat, I had to make my own. I found some cling wrap and wrapped it around my head. Then I poked two holes for my eyes and one for my mouth and went to school. The teacher screamed at me and sent me straight to detention. The teacher at detention also screamed at me. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> oh, man. It's not meant to be funny, man. It's just like a little clip of... Something that happened. So that is rough. Yeah, look, it wasn't easy. Glad wrap hats that actually became a thing in my year level for a while. After that day, you glad think? wrap hats. Glad wrap hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was too hot? Out. Did the, the glad yeah, wrap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You melt sweat. Onto your you head. sweat a lot. What about if the glad wrap melts onto your head? Well, it doesn't. It's not hot melt hot. Okay. But it keeps the sweat in. You yeah, become wow. like a um. Okay, uh, a, a, gre a greenhouse. <laughs> yeah. Greenhouse. You're being Bounce. really rude. That man. was yeah, dude, that was like if you're trying to down flirt, boundaries. If you're trying that to flirt right now. Yeah, it's not. It's really aggressive. Anyway, what all right, guys, right it's time. Sorry, cut that, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the most disgusting, fucked segment out of all segments of all podcasts that have ever. Been created. 
It's time for Matt Brown's Black Book, where he has detailed every single sexual experience that he has ever fucking had in great detail. And it is disgusting, wrong, and fucked. It's okay, boss. I'm all right. <laughs> all right, so to recap, um, Matt came home to Earth last week. Um, and then he had sex with his mother um, and then he told his brother to recover and that he's coming back to fuck him on another day oh that's right till so he's that's, 100% that's where we are alright um, I might just grab the can you grab the black book there Bosley's just really crushing me right now okay where are we up to ah uh, yes here we go here we go indeed not destroy the pages that's how you open it oh. you showed me that just you showed me how to open it and that's how you do it oh. God. I just wanted to survive that's all have number 67 <laughs> 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 I was sitting at home enjoying some raw sausages while I tortured my neighbor's cat. It was good to be home. I was fully rested and I had had an urge to celebrate. I decided I would hit the town and see if I could find someone to spill my silkworms into. I got changed into my finest clothes, tight white jeans, a tight long sleeved white shirt and my white wig. I hurried out and began scanning the bars. I saw a fine creature and approached her. Hello, I am Matt Brown. Yes, yes. Did you know that I used to be Satan? Can you not stand so close to us? You smell like raw meat. Freak. I quickly moved on to the next, but time after time I was getting rejected. But my spirits remained high as I knew this was a numbers game, so I continued aggressively hitting on women. I bought a girl a drink and showed her my gills. She poured the drink out and had security remove me. Now it was getting later and later into the night, and I was becoming more and more desperate as the crowd started to dwindle. Time and time again, I am rejected, and before I know it, it's 5am. Then the music stops and the lights turn on. Oh no, it's closing time. I feel my frustrations bubble over and I smash my glass on the ground. Fuck! The bartender stares at me and I leave. I needed to calm down, so I decide to walk home. Ten minutes into my walk and I start to feel better. I realize that worst case scenario, I can just call a prostitute. My spirits start to soar and lift again, and then I hear it. It sounded like a man was very, very sick. I walk towards the sound and it leads me down a dark, quiet street. Then I see it. There's only one street light on this street and leaning up against it was a very large woman and she was power vomiting into the gutter. My sperm starts to crystallize with excitement and my heart starts to spin in my chest. This is my last chance. I storm over to her. Hey, is everything all right? <coughs> 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 This woman was massive, my height at least, but twice as wide. She had her entire hand down her throat and was forcing herself to vomit. She removed her hand and from her throat and large strings of saliva and vomit came with it. She had vomit all over a small tight top and half of one of her massive sloppy tits was hanging out. She had a denim skirt on that had ridden up so high that I could see her pubic hair hanging out of either side of her underwear. I do not feel so good. So I'm just having a bit of a vomit so I'm not hanging over in the morning. That's absolutely genius. <laughs> you must be very clever. <laughs> yes, I I am. <laughs> I just can't be late for work tomorrow, so. I doubt any other employee would go to such lengths for their job. What do you do exactly? Are you a model? <laughs> no, I'm a removalist. Wow, you must be very strong. Her unfocused eyes stared at me as she swayed from side to side, hiccuping. She smelt of garlic sauce and goon, and I could see large bits of kebab in her vomit that hadn't been chewed. She must have been swallowing her bites whole. Would you like me to walk you home? Are you trying to fuck me, Cam? 
As she said this, she pulled her undies to the side and started pissing while she stood. The stream was as powerful as the stream from a hose, and the smell of old bender piss hit my nose. I wasn't sure what to say, so I just decided to be honest. Well, yeah, yeah I am. She finished pissing and let go of her undies. They slapped back into place and were immediately drenched from the remaining urine caught in her pubic hair. <laughs> well, come on then, cunt. She ripped at her top and both of her huge saggy tits spilt out and hung like two sandbags from her chest. I had finally done it and scored myself a babe. I rushed forwards and our mouths connected. Her mouth was full of food and vomit debris and the smell of her breath nearly rendered me unconscious. I got on my knees and sucked on the end of one of her tits. Her entire neck nipple filled my mouth. My, my, bre my beast was still leaning against the streetlight and started thumbing herself with her free hand. I had a miscarriage not too long ago, so you can come in me. This excited me to a great deal, and I started trying to tongue at her gash. I pulled her piss soaked gundies off and slung them onto the road. Her pubic hair felt like steel wool, and the smell it harbored was of decomposing fish and stomach ulcers. My tongue fought desperately to get through the hair and locate the hole, but it was useless. Lie down, I tell her firmly. Kay, she says, and drunkenly falls and slaps onto her, norm her enormous back. Then she spreads her legs. <sighs> Come on, tear at me, clunge. <laughs> I grab the base of my cock, <sighs> my little brown, and harpoon this beast straight up her slot. She giggles with pleasure, and I froth from my mouth as I start laying in. She opens her mouth wide, and I can't miss this opportunity. I extract my pulsing dick and drop it into her mouth, vomit-coated mouth. Her mouth opens so wide, her lower jaw stretches over my asshole. I feel her tonguing at my dot, <laughs> while my cock and balls are still down her throat. <laughs> she power vomits all over my junk, and the force from the vomit pushes me out of her. Someone call the police! A couple yells out from across the street as they watch this unfold under the streetlight. I ignore them, and with all my might, I roll my meal over onto her belly. I stab my dick back in her slit from behind. I pull her cheeks apart as I thump away to reveal fresh, watery shit caked on each cheek. I torpedo deeper into her meat slab, and I start to go cross-eyed. I fuck thump harder and harder, and she starts yodeling. Yodeling, 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 yodeling. I notice a car pull up next to us just as I start juicing my silkworms into this bag of fat. I thrust forwards and hold myself deep as my balls drain. The person in the car looks on in utter shock and speeds away. I pull my flesh stick out and cream gushes out after it. I had filled this beast with my silky mints and we were both lying on the ground. I glance over to my trophy and she was already asleep, snoring deeply. I get up and don't even bother covering my slain dragon. I leave her how she is and I simply bounce home backwards and put on some porn <laughs> holy moly oh. so that could have been Rhonda I realised <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she never said her name yeah wow holy shit Rhonda man you've really like had some ads eh hey when you shop around you find some strange things all right, look, let's, uh, let's move on. That's fucking disgusting, man. It's truly revolting. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. All right. Our next segment is lying to Lockie. But we're changing it, all right? Lockie's on to us, all right? He's already doesn't trust anything we say. So in a way, we were successful there. Yeah. We're, we're halfway there. We've broken him. Yeah, he just hasn't gone to a therapist yet. Maybe but he is. We just don't know. I reckon he's close. He's got to be close. So we were fucking, we were thinking, we were like, who can we fucking lie to today? All right. And it's someone some of you might know. We yeah. thought of Jashan, all right? Shami's older brother. He wouldn't ever be expecting yeah. a lie. And we're like, what the fuck can we lie about? So we called Jaden, okay? And Jaden said that Jashan's missus, Cass, Went out last weekend on a hens. Mm. So I'm going to call Jashan and I'm going to pretend that I know someone at that hens and that that hens, the stripper, kissed his partner. It's a, it's a long shot. I reckon we have a bong break first. All right. Fuck it. Let's do it. Right. Bong break. We'll be right back with lying to Jashan.
And we're back. All right, so like I said, we're calling Jashan, trying to convince him that um, his partner has cheated on him. <sighs> okay, nervous. Are you? Yeah, I am a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait. Why is it not fucking clear? Clear, clear me. All right, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Headphones on, Brown. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, Jashan. It's Marty, man. What's fucking crap? Hey. Right? What's going on? Your number's on private. Oh, sorry, dude. I fucking must have been doing a prank call um, from the podcast on Tuesday. I always forget to take it off. Oh, right. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, man. Just fucking... We're having a week off at the moment, so just fucking... Just chilling, man. But, um, yeah, I um, reason I'm calling, um, it's a weird one, dude, and it's not a very good reason. Um, what? You know how um, D- D- Cass she, she went out last weekend, right? Cassie. Yeah. Yeah, she had a baby shower. Yeah. Um. Do Do you know where she went out? What What the bar was? I don't think it was even at a bar. It was at like a house or something. I'm pretty sure. Oh right. Um, they might have gone to a bar. I don't know. But yeah, she was at a baby shower. Why? Well, just because um, I got a random message from um someone who knows Cass and like I um know this person and they said that um Cass was um, being like really flirtatious with um a guy there and um she actually like wait no who who said this I I, I don't think you'd know them it's a guy called Troy is a is a he's a he's a bartender like I just he's just he me and Michael went to school with him and he's just a bartender on the Gold Coast now yeah and um yeah apparently he said that um that Cass and he's uh, that the Cass was being really flirtatious with um with one of the guys there and and he reckons that he saw um her kiss him and and like the only reason I'm saying it is like you know I'd obviously if I was in your position I would want someone to tell me so I just thought fucking I can't like I, I'm not gonna fucking keep this a secret I've got to call you this is last weekend yeah yeah last weekend yeah who was the dude I don't know, and and the my mate doesn't know who it was either. Just some random dude, apparently. Fucking hell, there's this fuck. Yeah. I saw a message pop up on Cassie's phone like two weeks ago. It was like Daz, someone was Darren, fucking Derek. I don't know. Oh really? But it was yeah. A message popped up, and then like two days later, I went to suss it, but she had deleted it. I was like, that's just weird. Yeah, that is fucking sus as. Yeah, dude. Well, there. Yeah, look, oh, fuck. I can't do this, dude. We're lying to you, dude. We're lying to you. You're on the podcast right now. I'm so sorry, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yes, dude. No, dude. You can't actually put that in, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude. What you don't want us to? No, 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 no. You can't put that in. You can't put me in saying that the fucking Derek because that's actually serious. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Sorry, dude. Um. Yeah, I, I didn't honestly didn't think that you'd fucking believe that. Yeah, I wouldn't normally, but there's just been there's legit been this dude fucking messaging us. Oh fuck, dude, I'm so sorry. And it just got weird like two weeks ago. Fuck. Oh, shit. you can't actually put that in, eh? Yeah, fuck. I'm so sorry, dude. All right, well, I'll um, yeah, I'll tell Connor to um to cut this out, obviously. No, fucking don't put that shit in, cunt. Yeah, yeah, no, no, dude. I I, I promise you, I won't, dude. Oh. Fuck, I'm sorry, dude. We'll just cut it and we'll even prank someone else. Yeah, yeah, we'll just fucking... Yeah, sorry, you dude. call someone else, but you can't put that in, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm so sorry, dude. Didn't mean to fucking... All right, we'll, we'll think of something else. Very, very sorry but about there, that. Your mate didn't actually see her, though? What's that, mate? Your mate didn't actually see her, though? No, no, no. Like, uh, there isn't even a mate. I, I don't even fucking... Yeah, that, that's all... Yeah, compl- don't put that last part in. Do yeah. not put that last part in, eh? Because that's, like, legit. I've actually had my suspicions on it, eh? Yeah, right. Fuck, that sucks, man. And, yeah, fuck. Oh, that got dark. Yeah, yeah, it got cut real it, dark. It's it cut it at the first part of something, because, yeah, it's... Yeah, okay. don't. All right. All right, well, I think we'll just cut the whole thing out. Yeah, we might just cut the whole thing. It might be yeah, too please, risky. Please. Yeah. Because, yeah, oh, fuck, there's legit been this fucking dude, and fucking hell, cunt. He's, yeah, he was like just... You know, the fucking XXs and stuff? But then when she deleted the message, I was just like... Okay, why the fuck are you deleting his messages? Yeah, yeah, that's fucking and, weird. But I haven't said anything to her yet, so you cannot put this in. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we'll just cut the whole thing. Yeah, we'll cut the yeah, whole that's thing. That's yeah. way too stressful for us to deal with. Yeah, I appreciate it. 
<laughs> sorry, to oh, Sharp. Sorry, to you. Sorry to ruin your day. How you doing anyway? Yeah, man. Well, yeah, fucking not too bad, man. Yeah, not, not too, too a bit bad. better than you, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I, mean, I can't believe your wife is cheating on you. That's so funny. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That's so funny. You are eyes. Oh, yeah. oh. It's alright. I'll call him. <laughs> After and I'll smooth things over. I might message Cass. <laughs> <laughs> what do oh, we do? Hang on, did they Wait, fucking prank us? What, what do we do? Should we, I reckon let's they pranked us. Surely. Let's keep it in. No, I don't think so. But there is <laughs> right. something else going on though. Yeah, well actually You, you have been lied to me! You fucking <laughs> idiot, Matt. We've been oh, lying to you. You got done. Deshaun was in on it. That was amazing work by him. We Everyone, oh, we so got shit. Matt. I felt so bad for I took my headphones off. I was not enjoying it at all. <laughs> we did very well. Oh, I'm going to message him right now tell him that was a fucking amazing. Oh, I felt so bad. Oh, we fucking got Matt. We lied to you, Matt. You idiot, Matt. What did you think? That was like real. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I can't oh believe God. you thought that that was actually true, you fucking idiot. Dude, yeah, just Sean's you. acting is on. Brown got browned. Very good. Brown got browned. That was very, very well done. <laughs> Matt. Oh, I should have seen that we, coming. Dude, that was very, very good. We got him hard, Matt. Oh. Really. Felt so you made bad. the perfect comment when, and then he when he hung up, I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> and I went through my head, "Oh god, all the shit we have to go through now to settle that down." Oh, very good, Jashan. Thank you very much. Oh. Fucking fucking got you, Matt. All right, fuck me, dude. Don't believe shit. I just believe just because someone says it. That's what's wrong in the world. It's like you're seeing Lachlan now or something. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, let's move right along. Um, oh. All right, it's time. It's time. It is time for Bachelor Brown. 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 <laughs> Bachelor Brown. Bachelor Brown. It's time. It's time for Bachelor Brown. Oh, he's right behind you. He's always waiting behind you. He wants you. He'll have you if he wants to. He's crazy, Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Matt Brown. <sighs> and this is a segment where Michael and I have found are trying to find Matt Brown a partner, okay? Someone he can grow old with because Matt doesn't know how to do it. He's in his early 40s to mid to late 40s and he's still single. We don't have to do this. Yes, he's we 72, do, He's 72, I reckon. Yes, we do. You're 72. So we, right here, have found someone who is very willing and very keen to get to know you. Should we have a quick bong break? Very quick bong break and we'll be right back. Mm. Hello? Hello. Um, this is the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast with with who are we speaking here again sorry this is leah leah very nice to meet you thank you so much for coming on um look we've got a very nervous mumbling stuttery sweaty fucking 40 year old matt brown sitting next to us oh. and he's really keen to get to know you and see how the conversation flows and see if there's some sort of spark <laughs> okay, that sounds good. All right, well, Matt, I'll uh, throw it over to you. Why don't you um, speak to Leah and get to know her? Remember, confidence. Um, you can do this. Here we go. Hey, Leah. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm better now. <laughs> 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 He's licking his lips, Leah. He's like, yeah. well, that. Stop. <laughs> you can't do that. Whereabouts are you from? I'm originally from Adelaide. Oh, 
That's that. That's that, baby. <laughs> Bachelor Brown. Yeah, <laughs> and why then? Where do you live now? I live in Brizzy. Oh, a Brisbane girl. A Brisbane girl. <laughs> Only an Uber away. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her about your feelings, Matt. What are you feeling? Um, <laughs> Girls love it when you open up. What are you feeling right now? Say what you're feeling. Uh, what do you do for work? <laughs> I work in real estate. Oh, Matt loves houses. You guys are fucking with me. <laughs> what do you mean? Have we met before? Do you want to have met me? <laughs> you guys are fucking with me. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know who this is. <laughs> who is it then? It's, it's Leah. It's my it's ex, Leah. It's my ex girlfriend. <laughs> That's right, everybody. We got Matt Brown's ex girlfriend to be the bachelor Brown. Oh, thank you very much for coming on the call, Leah. I won't say her real name, but um, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Ooh, they're relaxing. Now. They're a kinder. How did this happen? <laughs> um, well, I was asked and I wanted to please, so here I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is in- you, you fucking picked up on it pretty quick. Your, ten- your tentacles got out there. <laughs> there was- when she said, yeah, when she said Adelaide, I was like, okay. And then, I don't know, something. There's not many people from Adelaide. Yeah, there's not it's many about at 15. all. 15. Narrows it right down. Smaller. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Anything else you Why don't you and Leah Catch up for a dinner Leah would you like to have A, a little dinner date With our brown town Yes I would actually He does owe me that Really <laughs> I owe you <laughs> <laughs> hang, on, hang on So Me and Leah We haven't like Dated in like Six years Or seven years How long has it been How did you know Her voice so quickly that. then because I, I talk to her. You still. still listen. You still watch videos of you and her together playing on the <laughs> swings, playing on the swings and at the cinemas. This is such a fucking. I can't believe this. You can't believe this. <laughs> That's rude to say that word. <laughs> but yes, oh, I would go on a dinner. Oh, oh, oh my god! Would you say Leah is top five? Fucking better be. <laughs> 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 Who do you want to rub out? Top five. Oh, this is. <laughs> well, she automatically gets top five because I know her You've very had well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um. Which one? Which one? Surely Greg. Surely no, Greg. Greg's a top top bloke. All right. Well, maybe let's go. What's, what's Gree? <laughs> oh, that's Greg. That's Greg. <laughs> so hard. Let's um. Go oh, Jess. nah. She's she's. I have to say, Jess is Jasmine. really fucking cool. Jasmine's cool too. But I'm cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to bump Ali. All right, Ooh, Ali, yeah, is gone. Ali is gone. Sorry, and Ali. Leah, Matt's ex-girlfriend, takes her place. Yes, that's right. Michael and I have set up a date with Matt Brown's ex-girlfriend. That is what we do for our boy. All right, we go back. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay, how did you even Thank do you that? Thank you so much, Leah. <laughs> Thank you Thank so much you. for your time, Leah. You've been Bye. amazing. Bye-bye. Bye, Leah. <laughs> You all get, it's dinner. You get to have dinner with someone. It's exciting. It's egg. I can't trust with you. I can't trust anything. <laughs> it's egg. I can't trust anything. I can't trust the lying to Locky segment. I can't trust the Bachelor to Brown. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We can get you into therapy. <laughs> I'm going to need therapy at the end. Of, at the end of this house tenancy, I'm going to need therapy. <laughs> if we pay for it, would you go get therapy? But we get to record the sessions. I don't think they'll let you record a session. Oh, damn. Yeah, you put your phone, you couldn't take your phone in until you put the phone on or the other cough. You put it in your pocket. Yeah, true. It's a deal. Matt Brown's going to therapy. How did you guys do that? <laughs> oh, yes. We just contacted her. In a you way. don't have a. F- no, what do you. Uh, yeah, it's all, we can tell you later, all right? All right. All that matters now is that you've got another date lined up and we've updated your top five.
That's kind of exciting. (laughs) We're gonna film it. We're gonna film it. Everything's been organized tonight. Mm. You're having a day with her tonight. Anyway, moving right along. Hang on, should we like like this is like an ex girlfriend. And to (laughs) putting it out there, I've I'm actually pretty good with all Max. I don't think I've really had a bad breakup. But um but yeah, just I don't know. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't, well, Shut I don't, up, Matt. Maybe consult me for next time you do that. What if I? What if I like had? What if I really didn't want to see it? Yeah, I know it would have been fucking funny. Oh. <laughs> it's lucky, like I do chat with her still. Anyway, guys, well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Cupids. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and give us a five star review on Spotify. Man, we're creeping up. One point two k five star reviews now. That's pretty awesome. I guess that's pretty good, eh? Yeah, that's like a that's room right. room full of people. It's a room full of people. people. <laughs> All right, moving right along to questions, guys. And this is where we answer the questions that you guys have commented on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like the questions you want us to answer. If we don't answer your question this week, we'll probably answer it next week or the week after. So keep asking, keep asking, keep asking questions. q and oh, for sure. Oh, comment of the week first. Oh. We have to pick a comment of the week from last week's episode. And this is also a comment competition where we will f- pick one comment from the comment of the week board to win an extra thousand dollars. It's pr- such a shit competition. Yeah, and what the shit fuck? segment. It's shit that we, we can't even cut it now because we've started it and yeah. it's just shit. But at least like there's a thousand dollars at the end of it for someone. So let's just get this over and done with so we can get to questions. Um, um, I read a comment out to you earlier. It wasn't hilariously funny, but we did get a good giggle at the thought of it. And I thought maybe we can pick that as comment of the week. Lola Flukunola. The comment of the week came from Sam Warner. And he's, oh wait, hang on. Is it Sam Warner? Are we no. keeping track of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got them all. I got okay, them. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, it wasn't Sam Warner, but Sam Warner, thank you for your comment. Um, but uh, it was from Just N McPaul. Sam Warner's going to be so devo. Like, oh, yes. And then, oh, oh yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Sam. Fuck, should we just put them both in? No. No. Sorry. Because I just read his comment and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, well, anyway. you, just yeah. What's the um, just Anne McPaul? Uh, imagine how magical the slow clapping between segments will be with a venue full of clangs. Yeah, yeah. When we get our live show, let's everyone listening, let's all do one of those slow clap things that we do and see what it sounds like with like a hundred people. That's it, exciting. That's exciting, man. It'll be a sacred sound. Sacred. It's nearly as sacred as the bond you have with your ex. Oh. Can you not do any more ex-girlfriends, please? <laughs> I'm not feeling in like it's well, a good look, idea. We will if you've not got another rest, one in line, we like- will not rest until the brown as lady's eggs in a nest. <laughs> 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 yeah, this will find you a wife by the end of it. And that's what we want for you, Matt Brown. <sighs> it's Think of us as like we're Indians and we're um, organizing your wedding. What's it called? A arranged marriage. Yeah. So and you know they have a higher success rate than um, uh, marriages here. So shut that, shut that down, bitch, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, top comment. I mean, top uh, question. All right. Questions time, guys. Questions let's, time. Let's hear it. Top question came from D. Man. Coda, um, who comments so much. She's a legend. Um, Could question for the thousand. podcast. Have you ever thought of doing an Arnold... Oh, sorry, this has uh, got the most likes. Um, have you ever thought of doing an Arnold Fine animal documentary type video like Steve Owen, but with farm animals? That's not a bad oh, idea. Oh, man, that, I would watch that. Uh, one of our Arnold Fine, Fine at the farm. One of our um, group members had a great idea. One of our website members gave us a video idea. The host is the host of like a website length video where Matt... Michael and Julian are the contestants and like I well like I'll just fucking be on camera because the host doesn't really want anything to do with me and then James can be like the hot um, like the girl like the fucking you know how those yeah, game little, show host girls yeah. I'd like to buy a vowel please yeah, and yeah, she switches exactly it that would be James okay. James would be the vowel mm. sorry 
So that was a good idea. But yeah, that's not a bad idea either. I'll um I'll message Arnold and see what he's doing. I reckon oh, both man. those ideas. Okay. I'd watch like a three-hour doco on just Arnold Fine's What life. about a nine-hour documentary? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not in one sitting, but maybe so across fun. three nights. Imagine if the length of a, document, a documentary was a joke. So you just made it that long. <laughs> it's just... It's just a black screen. Yeah. Every, it's just a three-hour doco in slow motion. Next question is from Louis Kilroyne Bogombari. Bogombari. Shit, wherever, depending on where they're from. Um, all right, question. Matt, are you going to be disappointed if you do not find someone in The Bachelor Brown? If so, are you accepting the fact that you will be lonely, sad, and bold? 40. Um... To be honest, if I don't find anyone, I'm not that worried. He is. Because I was going to say I've got you guys still. Yeah, you'll always have us. But and Fortnite. You, you, we can't squeeze a baby out of our asses after you yeah, filled us up. <laughs> <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> you don't not to try, all right? Oh. Oh, I pull my cheeks. <laughs> Careful with the board board. Yeah. <laughs> fun, no, no, no. It, um, it bounces the cameras. Oh, sorry. Because you, sorry, when you bounce your feet, it bounces the cameras. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it off you. <laughs> Next question is from Robert Keo. Uh, between the three of you, who would who would who do you reckon would win in a Saw movie? Michael. Yeah, Michael. He'll slither his way out of anything. Oh, man. Michael would just sit there cackling and just <laughs> let whatever happen happen to him. <laughs> and survive. Yeah, and he'd survive. Just do some pain runs after his fucking lips are, li- lips are ripped off. Oh. Lips gone and his yeah, teeth that- are all exposed. <laughs> <laughs> that machine that, like, pulls yeah, your... Yeah, pulls your uh, skull apart, cunt. Oof. Oh. Yeah, that's such a. I yeah, could only watch movie. like three of them. I watched the first one. It was like I can't watch anymore. Doctor Phil's in one. Is he? Yeah. No. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> He's in the scary movie four. <laughs> Is he? <it>? Yeah. <laughs> He's like a parody of it. Sorry. All right. Next question from Alex Main. Uh, what's the biggest misconception that you get from fans or friends about being a social media influencer? content creator that we don't do anything all day yeah that is the biggest misconception. oh do they even have a normal job yeah but i get it though because you you would you you without like we don't film ourselves when we're doing other, anything other than fun shit so you don't really see like all the other boring shit that we have to do but yeah a lot of people think we just sit around and do nothing and the stress you guys go through too yeah well it is a no rel- it's relentless and it's also your career could end at any moment you know, it's it's quite a stressful way to live, hence why we've um you know got the website and and we're just fucking lucky we got a bunch of fucking legend fans, fucking you cunts and the Middles. website members. It's fucked, cunt. Sick, sick. That's fucking sick, sick, sick. sick That's sick. fucking sick, sick, sick. That's fucking sick. sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Niboj Vasik. Fuck, I'm sorry, dude. Depending where you're from. Uh, what do you think is the next move, next thing that is going to level up your job or your social media even more? Well, What's the, the next po- big thing. Podcast is the is a long term goal, but we really want to get into these um like a series. Like we we had a crack at one. Which sport is the scariest? Like a higher production uh, type little series. But it sort of kind of was shit and we probably could have done better. But um, so now we're going to do another one of them, Amadi versus Michael. And um, if it goes really well, you know, then package it up, fucking pitch it to some of the streaming services. Who knows? We could even eventually do a movie if, if that's shit as well. I think that's a good idea. Sorry. Yeah, that'll be a while away though because that takes so long to make and we need to get so far ahead. With our fucking con, con, con. Oh, And the other thing also is turning our little website into like a little mini like Netflix and have just a bunch of content creators that make content similar to us. So there's so many out there that make fucking awesome, hilarious, crazy ass videos, but they can't post them anywhere because social media is too strict. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So that's the plan moving ahead. Matt? Sorry about that. 
What about you, Matthew? Yeah, what's your plan moving ahead? Um, Commissions. I want to keep growing this podcast. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe move into some sort of social media work full time. Brown. Not sure ex- brown, the exact brown. how exactly that'll look, but um, maybe you could sell like a Facebook page and just do like concrete sculptures. Do you reckon you could? Hmm. <laughs> 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 You get it for free, right? Wouldn't you? <laughs> Fuck it, that. <laughs> do you get discounts at least? You do, but um. It's what what very would expensive. your What would your discount be on like a if a slab of concrete? I, I couldn't tell you a grand. Um, what would you get for know. it? Like five hundred? No, no. Three hundred? No, I don't know. It's seven fifty. Yeah. We're moving. Seven fifty. <laughs> it's seven. 750. All right. Next seconds. question is from Joey Evans. Why is sandwich meat round when bread is square? Yeah, I think it. Um, there is square meat, that shit that you buy from yeah, the deli. It's not very good. It's like you. the shittest. Um, I think just it's easier to make because it's like a liquid, isn't it? And then they fucking pump it full of emulsifiers and shit. And then they stomp it down tubes. Oh! Circle tubes. And it just solidifies in the tubes. You can't. Yuck. Oh! oh. Meat tubes. It's just easier than meat squares. That is fucked, dude. <laughs> that is so fucked that people eat that shit. Yuck. I used to get um just to get um, uh the chicken breast from the deli heaps when I was younger. And then oh, I found out man. that how they yeah, do that, that and what is. it is. It comes in a loaf. It's not Yeah, it's like square. I used to yeah, serve. And they it. cut it they you cut it up on the machine. Yeah, it's not good. What's in that one? I don't know. Like, how do they oh. get chicken to look like that? They have to add a bunch of chemicals. Yeah, it comes shit. out, comes in like a little. They literally like have to log, like log, yeah, like a log to, of a tree. That's yeah, they have to oh, melt man. it. They have to melt the meat and mix all this shit into it, and then they fucking reharden it. Dude, I'm. Oh, that's so. That There's makes people me feel sick. <laughs> Next question is it's from, from Mad, Mad Max, Max, and it's a bit of a lengthy one, but it's a good one. Um, Hey guys, a uh, long-winded question, but was wondering what you guys tend to do in your personal time that helps with your mental health. I've been struggling this past year with depression, and even though your vids bring a smile on my face, it doesn't do nearly enough to push me back into being a happy person. You guys are still the best, and I could use a little advice from my heroes right now. I think the biggest thing um, we do well, it's for us. We have we have this. We have we have Marty and Each other. We have uh, we we have like uh, our purpose is to try and just constantly make laughs, and that's and that's what. We're, so we're literally doing what we love doing, and that's what is the best for our mental health. And I speak to people who you know get into ruts and shit, and if you don't know what you want to do, it's really hard to stay fucking positive and to break out of mental health. So figure out what you want to do go for it and fucking exercise shit loads yeah exercise is definitely a number one and just feel like do it make do shit that you'll feel better about yourself michael mm. exercise hang out with your friends the ones that you have and i reckon skateboard yeah get a hobby maybe get a hobby fucking um why don't you why don't you like Fortnite? yeah man nah, well Fortnite's fine i guess yeah, in small amounts. Uh, don't spend seven hours. How do on you? It. How do you keep your crippling depression in the back of your mind? I love doing my long walks on a Sunday. That always. Yeah, see a bit of exercise, bit of routine there. Yeah, Down no, it's about. not. A little bit of gaming here and there. Yeah. 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 Have you kicked the footy in with the posts yet? I will never do that. What? Never. I'd love to come here and see Matt practicing his stepping out, side outside. Side <laughs> No, you don't. No, just kicks into the post. <laughs> We're doing that after this podcast. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes. Thank you. Two more questions next. But fucking uh, hang but in there with the mental oh yeah. health. Fucking Mad Matt, hang, hang in, there. in there, dude. Yeah, it gets better. Yeah, and yeah, exercise a shit ton. That will help you, I reckon. If you're struggling with mental health, call mental health professionals right now. Stop and there will be a link in the description. Will there? Hopefully. Look, if we remember, we'll put a link in the description or the number. We'll put the number in the description. The number will pop up, please, Connor. <laughs> yeah, is it Con- Beyond Blue? Yeah, that's yeah. one of them. Actually, yeah. let's look it up. What is it? Beyond Blue. So Beyond Blue help with a, a lot of that. There you go. If you're struggling What's with the mental health, triple zero. Uh, <laughs> don't call triple zero. Yeah, or is it 911? 
Yeah, yeah, I think it is not. No, I think that gets redirected to triple zero. It just says go to be on blue.com. Yeah. Or it's .org. Uh, yeah, so if it's getting too much, just go fucking chat to someone, brother. Ain't nothing fucking wrong with that, brother. Matt? All right. Um, two questions left. Um, um, next one's from Bryce Carter. Carter. Uh, uh, is there going to be yeah, vlogs yeah, posted on YouTube, YouTube ever, ever again? Um, you mainly do it for the... Website. Yeah, look, YouTube, it's not what it used to be. If we were to post vlogs, we'd probably have to start a whole nother YouTube channel because mm. we've built our YouTube audience on short video so if we up ever upload a long video you'll notice that the views are fucking dog shit it's because everyone who's subscribed to our youtube channel is expecting short fast like prank compilation type videos so anything uh, away from that the views are down and then therefore that will negatively impact the youtube channel so we'd have to start a separate channel completely so for now we'll just keep posting them every now and then to the website and then when we have enough enough we could eventually just fucking cut Calm them down, down a bit mm. make them youtube friendly and then fucking post them yeah so bear with us but yeah only for the website at the moment sorry and a final question came from maddie uh how old were you when you first did drugs nine Oh, um, oh, drugs. Man, we, oh, like, we, we never didn't get into them that young. When we were younger, fucking no one really did drugs unless you're a bikey or a criminal. And Matt Brown. Yeah. I think I was like 16 when I first tried weed. Oh, oh yeah. weed, yeah. Well, weed's not. Can, count weed. But yeah, what yeah. about like a hard drug? A hard drug? Probably like 18. I tried, I think I tried pills at a festival. <laughs> oh, I yeah, thought you were going to say we meth. way later. Yeah, yeah. We didn't try like fucking. Uh, uh, Europe was the first time we had oh no the road trip remember the road trip we had fucking those pingers from that random no I didn't have party. them because I was going to the oh, army how old a few were weeks we before then? we were 18 oh so I had drugs when I was 18 holy shit yeah well I was like 20 22 fuck go mad ask oh, him she started very late yeah. and then See, I, I did didn't my touch drugs them. and then I stopped at like 24 and then I didn't touch him again until yeah overseas and we started snorting coke like there was no tomorrow oh coke, okay cunt. coke's like 22 but ecstasy like 22 I reckon yeah coke's and, like 20 thank you and then the portals opened up and we've pretty much sucked everything down now, haven't we? Bit of meth for Matt Brown next boys trip. Thousand dollars? Still is, up is for that it? Still on the table? I guess so. You promise? Do you promise? Yeah. If we bring meth and a grand, are you gonna do this or are you just gonna sit there and say no? Because no, we're gonna have to spend money on the meth as well. So it's probably <laughs> oh, gonna be like Don't guilt trip me into it. Oh, we we spent money on this, Matt. <laughs> Yeah, well, seriously. You're not going to do it now? Well, yeah, we we'll fucking will have to give it to oh. Julian or something. Somebody sent me a personal <laughs> message going, please don't do meth. I'm like, I'm a, fo I've, I'm a former, like, I do not do it. <laughs> I was like, okay. Dude, we have to. Oh, Man, it's just once. I won't let you get hooked, but I reckon just once. And then, and then you watch how fast your concrete will go. Yeah. Oh, dude, that'll be, Makes I'd love no to. Sense. You could be typing and doing concrete at the we same make, time yeah. with the levers putting it in the trucks with the levers that's exactly I would watch that call them. you can go now next job you can go now pull another lever <laughs> I would watch that that's exactly how it works that's how I picture you working <laughs> <laughs> uh, he lets the concrete out yeah, for the truck he pulls the lever and it opens up and it pulls oh, into the truck and then the truck drives away he closes the lever and then waits another truck oh, the you, you need to go to 12 Oxlade Street <laughs> <laughs> they want two liters. They want two liters of concrete. Oh, and he's, two liters. And he's <laughs> typing the invoices with his left hand and pulling the lever with that hand. And I he's got his that. phone connected while he's doing that. Oh, man, there is some like concrete batches who who could probably do that. Yeah. They're that good. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's not naming fucking any questions, everyone. And now it is time for the prank fucking call. And we have decided this week because it's right now it's a public holiday because the fucking queen's dead. Okay. And everyone's real sad about it. So they said, oh, let's not work today. And they shut everything. I saw it. There's still some shops open. Okay. So that's what we're banking on. So Raffers. So we're going to call McDonald's and, uh, and we're going to ask him if they still throw their fucking weird little parties. And Arnold Fine. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Arnold Fine. <laughs> we should just do wants that. to know He's if a you, they can bring their family pig there. To the ch children's party and his reasoning will be well why do you why do the mcdonald's from where i'm from allow the pigs then okay all right where's he from i don't i have no idea literally i have no idea i think his mother is um 
He's lost his mother? His arm. No, his mother is arm. <laughs> his mother is just an arm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so Arnold's going to just say, you must bring pigs. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's just going to say, like, this is ridiculous. Um, like, you're a restaurant. How can you not allow a pig? Because they sell pigs there too, right? <laughs> They, they have bacon and yeah try and so, relate so, the same thing like you sell it you, you yeah, have like it that, same thing dead pig there want a live pig the same thing <laughs> maybe I come on for <laughs> well, hello uh, my name Arnold fine uh, do you have a uh, party room uh, for kit party um we no longer do the party room why not anymore? Why you do Sorry? not? Why you do not do that anymore? So we like we don't like host the kids parties, but like with the party rooms, like you can hire them still. Okay, okay. Um, that's uh, good uh, for me. I have uh, my uh, son. He turned maybe uh, seven, maybe eight uh, year old um, in three week. Uh, he love uh, McDonald. Uh, he always uh, cry. Um, I'm hungry. Uh, let's go McDonald's. So I tell, I say to him, uh, we have party. At uh, McDonald uh, for a birthday. Yeah. Um. So, did you want to like hire out the party uh, yes, room? Yes. 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 I want to hire a party room for maybe um, maybe three yep, uh, three me, hour. Yes. Give me one quick moment. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I wait. Huh? <laughs> My son, Klal, Klalosh. Yep, um, so what day did you want to hire it out, sorry? Okay, let me have a look uh, at uh, the calendar. Um, so his birthday, uh, I think uh, 12 or 13 October. So uh, let's say uh, six, 16 uh, October. For, 16th of October. Uh, you know, for uh, me, my wife, uh, she's sick. Uh, she's quite sick, but uh, she come. And uh, my two son, uh, Clintosh, mm -hmm. and uh, Bochlum. And he bring maybe two friends, uh, so maybe uh, f six, uh, six people in total. Yeah, that's fine. And our, uh, we also have a family pick, and uh, we bring um, with us, but uh, the pick, uh, it's like a dog. It, uh, you won't even uh, notice the pick. Um, yeah, it's behave uh, just like a dog, okay? Yeah, sorry, what was just that last part again, sorry? Uh, we have a family pick, uh, uh, an animal, a family pick um, that uh, lives with the uh, family. She sleep in bed with me and my uh, sick wife. Um, it behave uh, just like a dog. It's uh, the same thing, in fact, uh, same thing as dog. So yeah. we bring uh, the pig uh, with us to party, but we don't feed it McDonald's or nothing. So it, it'll yeah. just uh, stay in the corner. I tie it up uh, so it doesn't uh, uh, flick around and uh, you won't even see it. Eh? Yeah, just letting you know that we actually aren't allowed to have any animals in the restaurant except for service animals. Uh, don't you um, surf uh, animal on your food? Yeah, but we don't like. Okay, so uh, what difference uh, if animal um, dead uh, on burger or animal uh, living uh, making my sick wife happy? Huh? Yeah, so it has like it's actually like by law. So like the only animals that are allowed inside a building are only the um, service animals. Okay, so my pick service animal. Okay, I uh, I say pick is service animal. I come in with pick. Sorry, what was that? I'm just having trouble hearing you. Oh, no, that's okay. Um, uh, my pick is also service animal. You understand, eh? You write that down. Uh, maybe write that down, uh, pick a uh, service animal. That still won't be allowed in our restaurant at all, sorry. Uh, you say uh, service animal allowed in? Hmm? You just yeah, said service that... Service animals uh, are allowed, uh, but not circus animals. Circus animal, it's a pick. It's not a circus animal. It's a family pick. It's like a you and me. It uh, is sit at dinner table. Uh, it's a sleep in bed. It have a bath with my sick wife. It's the same thing as a human. Huh? 
Yeah, I'm so sorry, but it is only oh, allowed to have animals okay. in the restaurant. I see what you're doing. You try poison my family, a snake. How come you not let a pig come true, but you have a bacon? Oh. Oh, my. Oh, oh. oh dude, Klaal? Was fucking good. What was the other name? Bottle or something yeah, like that? Yeah, kid called Clow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, that's the oh, prank call. thank you. Fucking Arnold. As I said, I'd watch a documentary. A nine hour that documentary. Was. That was. That was. Just then. What if we took <laughs> Arnold to like Australia Zoo? And had him shot there. <laughs> no, no, I want, I, I want to see Arnold actually touching the animals. Oh, yeah. If we should have taken him to the Ecker. All right. Put him into this oh, pen yeah. of animals. Anyway, brainstorm. <clears throat> oh, dude, that's a funny video. Imagine trying to enter a pig into the pig cot show and it's just you dressed as a pig. Well, yeah, I guess like, but you'd have to do like paperwork. Yeah, exactly. Beforehand. We do all the paperwork oh, and everything. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what if they get there and it's like, oh, we check yeah. in. They, no, laugh, yeah. they laugh and they go, oh, okay, cool. And, no, and cool. then we say that I identify as a pig. Yeah. So they legally have to allow it. <laughs> anyway, All right. I think that is the end of episode number 32. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a five star review, and do everything that we say blindly. Don't even think, just do because we are the, the best. best. We're the 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 best. 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 Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>